So here I am in the evening, it's about 4.30 and there's the city, hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to ride across the suburbs and uh, near the, past the airport into the city there and find a place to sleep around the city. And this is my setup here. I've got a little bit more than I've taken last time because it's colder. So it uh, should take me a few hours to get to the city, find a place to sleep and then head to the coast to Fremantle the day after. So I've got down from the mountain or the hills. So I'm just in the suburb of High Wycombe here and you can see they really look after their cyclists here. Oh, I've just turned off the main roads. So I've made it down to the river. So it's starting to get a little bit dark. There's my light set up on my helmet. So there's my battery pack torch. Hello. Evening, how are you? Okay. Oh, this is really nice here. This here is the, it's a hotel and a casino. And I think uh, I should be able to get something to eat here. Thank you, sir. So I got noodles for dinner. They look good. And I bought my bike in here. No one said a thing. But this is the entrance of the casino. That's the inside. It's all pretty flash. I've just opened up the door just to show you around. Rightio, that's the city in the background there. And just behind me is the hotel. I'm just riding on the pathway in between the river and the city. And I'm gonna go in front of the city. I'll take you there tomorrow. That's mega steep. All right, I've just come up that hill and there's a park at the top of the hill. So you probably can't see a whole lot, but that's the city area there. That's just my torch there. So that's the city in the background there, down the hill. And this is a park up here. And that side of the road is busy. Like a lot of people go there, but on this side of the road, uh, there's a building up there which is shut. So I'm gonna find a place to camp, probably behind one of these trees. And so it's 5.50 in the morning, it's still pretty dark. So there's my tent set up, my bike up against the tree here. And this is on a grass area, just in front of some bushland here. No one came by, it was super dark. So I'm going to head over to some light area and I'm going to back up. There's my bike. There's the city. The sun comes up in the east over the hills there. Where I started, you can see the hills in the background, maybe. So I'm just here, I sat on a park bench here and I realized that I've got a flat tire. All right, so I found the hole. All right, there's my patch. Just come down the hill. So this is on a Saturday morning. So it's not a business day here. So we'll see what goodies uh, lay ahead of us in the city here. So there's no one in the city or very few. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Heaps of abandoned businesses or failed businesses because of the COVID hysteria from our state government. This is like an abandoned shopping mall. So this looks like a little breakfast spot. Can I get a breakfast uh, brekkie roll down here, please? <laughs> All right, so I ordered some breakfast and that's my breakfast here. Mm. Doesn't look too flash. Oh, that looks better. They toasted it, so it's a bit squashed. This is Elizabeth Key, and this was developed about four or five years ago, and it's really quite a nice area. You can see the water is beautiful today. That's the city in the background and a sculpture, and there's a lot of uh, people meet here and uh, come down here in the summer months especially. Beautiful little spot, actually. So I'm leaving the city. That's where I stayed last night, up that hill there. And I'm gonna follow the river 
you can't really follow it all the way, so I'll follow the river for a bit and then head inland and head to the port, which is at the end of the river. So we'll see what we can find on the way. Certainly is a nice morning for it. So it tells me 20 kilometers to Fremantle from here. So I won't go there directly. We'll stop and see a few places on the way. So this is a side entrance to the university. Just down the river a bit. All right, this looks like the end of the pathway. So I don't know what this place is. Looks like it used to be something. So this says it's an old men's home. I'm told this is the most expensive street in Perth for real estate. Uh, not far on that side is the ocean and just on that side is the river. All right, that's Cottesloe Beach. Beautiful beach, can get a little bit busy uh, and it's a perfect day. This is stunning. Okay, so this is a overpass over the rail line. There's the port of Fremantle in the background there. This is the bridge into Fremantle. So I'm here at the port in Fremantle. And you can see the ships in. Hello dog. And there's a statue for the immigrants that came into Western Australia through the port of Fremantle. This is the Fremantle train station. I'll catch the train home. And it's been a really nice trip to an urban setting. Ah, oh, looks like I might get straight on the train. Could be good timing if I can get my ticket. <laughs> 